Mr. President, we welcome the High Commission's report on Sri Lanka. Human rights in Sri Lanka are not threatened by the centralization of executive powers and weakening of the independence of the judiciary and key commissions, including the Human Rights Commission and the Office of Missing Persons. With the Lava Stamping Parliamentary Council, President Rajapaksa has absolute powers to appoint members of these institutions. This council must stay alert to appointments of OMP commissioners once the current members finish their mandate this week. The report of the Presidential Commission of Inquiry on Political Victimization threatens the democratic fabric of the country, which includes recommendations to take legal actions against those pursued human rights investigations. This is a direct threat to human rights defenders, victims, and witnesses. It heightens fear of reprisal and brings back memory of the past. Although the recent government's indication to allow rulers of COVID-19 victims is a positive step, the Council must remain concerned by the continuing discriminatory treatment of Tamil and Muslim minorities, such as the after use of Prevention of Terrorism Act, increased surveillance, and the demolition of the Memorial Monument in the Jaffna University, to name a few. While we have continuous support for our international accountability mechanism on Sri Lanka, we support the High Commission's recommendations and urge the Human Rights Council to give monitoring and evidence-gathering mandates to the OCHR. Thank you.